So a lot of lower back issues for men and women are actually sacroiliac issues. I'm gonna give you a really quick uh, anatomy and physiology and then what I do to treat it. This is your sacrum. It's an inverted triangle at the base of your spine. Sacrum refers to sacred, by the way. In yogic terms, it's said to house your kundalini, your energetics. And it is very powerful. The iliac is this bone, um, sometimes described as the ear of the pelvis. And you can kind of see why, right? Almost like an earlobe. Sacroiliac moves a lot. It's this joint right here, yeah? And you need, you rely on the musculature of the muscles for it to be strong. The musculature of the muscles, did you like that? The tone of the muscles. All right, the way I treat it is with a block, super simple. It's uh, for, for a life-size person, the block sits really nicely across the sacrum and it presses, it presses it forward so that the iliac bones can fall either side. And that forward pressure is really powerful to relieve any, any pressure on the, the joints, uh, but also the nerves that flow through here. And you can see, in fact, that the, the nerves flow from these points. So when you've got a block like this, and you know, I imagine a brick would also do, but the timber is lovely. You can also use it this way. And eventually as the sacrum opens up, you can turn it this way or this way so a super quick demo start in fact um, mildest form would be just to broaden so I'm broadening the sacrum on the back <sighs> yeah and that that contact that pressure brings relief this is especially helpful for uh, women during menstruation also postnatal recovery. And uh, th this is the progression as the sacrum ad adapts. This is my personal favorite, the iliacs. I can feel full either side. And as I said, eventually, once you can open that up, it feels wonderful to rest. Now the real value lies in the dropping of the sacrum. So anything that helps you to get your weight, the weight of the lower body can can sink down onto that, that joint. And these are also considered restorative practice. So um, that's that.